glass blowing that I do is with the flame as you have been seeing on the flame where I'm working with that heat that's just small enough actual glass blowing is a glass blower pulling out or drawing out glass out of a furnace so that's big stuff what we as a family are doing are the smaller items like the beads the sculptural items the straws the pipes the pendants the beads whatever else needs to be done on a flame the small flame is working with propane and oxygen so the oxygen is for the heat the propane is a nice clean burning gas which won't dirty and discolor any of your glass itself so working with a small flame we are able to concentrate on items that are quite a bit smaller than the traditional glass blower The glass straw movement started by my husband and I turning vegan about two years ago and at the same time I got an inquiry for glass straws which I thought was like hey this is quite cool like you know it's eco-friendly it's functional and it works well with like what we're trying to you know get in our lives by being vegan so you know going more eco-friendly and just preserving like the planet. I loved how my dad's pendants came out so he does these awesome pendants with cold working and it's just also the colors that really like inspired me and then with my mom's work was her fishes like I love her fishes and the penguins like the sea type of things like that was really cool I just wanted to do something more functional so that's why I went into more pipes and bombs now I've been doing glass work for about four, uh, 35 years started off sandblasting as a hobby and eventually ended up as full-time our family has been <laughs> inspired, they've lived with it for 30 odd years, so it has become our norm working with glass in all aspects from flat glass, curved glass into borosilicate and uh, laboratory glass, so we're working with many different types of glass and crystal. It's also working together, like debating well, this is going to work or this isn't going to work. And yeah, we've really worked well together, all three of us, because we're all so different. So it actually like, yeah, we gel together nicely in that sense. And I can always go ask my parents, you know, for advice if I'm not sure, or they bounce things off me. And like, we just work well together in that way. And I think that's what's brought us together. Yeah. I can draw inspiration from seeing somebody's dress, outfit, shirt, whatever they are wearing, patterns that are on it. I'll very often see a shirt and I'll quickly draw, I take out my notebook and pencil and quickly draw that little pattern because I know I can adapt that pattern to something in my glass. A lot of those patterns I will do for my pendants and the kiln work. is a bead release. It's a product of graphite powder, kaolin powder and bentonite and water and all I do is dip in, turn and they're ready and prepared for to take the hot glass when I apply the glass to the mandrels. I'm going to make one of my favorite little things. That's our penguin. I love making him. Or her. Mm. Okay. I've put my glass colors that I need. The black, the white, and the color stringers that will be used for my penguin. Roll it and flatten out all the little grooves. As you can see, heat will help to fill up those little crevices. You don't have to just keep adding more glass. The heat, actually, there we go. They've all come out and they're nice and smooth. I think what I've learned is one of the biggest things is having patience. Learning to work with something 
that that respect has to be there and the the patience it's not just going to happen like that it takes a long time before you've learned okay if i hold my glass at this particular angle i'm going to get what i want because i've learned to work with the glass okay and that comes with time with patience and i think one of the biggest things of having patience within one is having become a mom having children you got to learn patience i'm going to demonstrate show a few of the pieces that i've done before on glass i'm a cold working glass and i do warm glass and hot glass as well we make up pieces blocks which we cast and then thereafter we'll um, machine them cut pieces off in different shapes and then I start making glass pendants. These glass pendants, this particular one has got 24 karat gold in it. So after it's been machined to shape, I cut it off and then put the bond the gold into it. And then we re-machine and fit a sterling bale to the top for hanging purposes. Here's another one that we've done before. This one has uh, a silver in it it's a fine silver because your sterling silver can corrode or give off a, a dirty color after a while okay and i'm just going to try and just even heat everywhere because while i'm working there the bottom is getting a little cool i'm happy with my penguin isn't it beautiful? There we go. Okay, I'm going to switch off. And there we go. He's a cutie. And in we go. Now the story with this vermicola in my slow cooker stays warm the whole day but tomorrow morning they are cold but what I do do is I will have a collection of a whole lot of cold beads and that is when I will put them into the annealer the annealer will anneal the glass back to its molecular structure that it was made in the factory 